Hello there. Welcome to Architect Interview Question Series from Knowledge Powerhouse. In this series, we are covering many questions on system design, software architecture. Let's go on to see our next question. Question is, what is site reliability engineering? So this is a phrase or a term that is being used very much nowadays. Site reliability engineering, what exactly it is? So site reliability engineering is a discipline that takes up the aspects of software engineering and applies them to infrastructure and operations problems. Software engineering is like quite an like you know old term now. Everybody uses that, like software development life cycle is there. We develop the software using some practices. Whereas operations, right infrastructure, that was like a another discipline where people work working like an ops mode. But now in SRE, Site Reliability Engineering, we try to use the principles of software engineering and apply them to these problems, how to manage your infrastructure, how to manage your operations, how to solve those operation problems. Operation problems are like deployment, like you have production releases, upgrades, these kind of things are there. The primary goal of SRE, I mean, SRE is also referred to as Site Reliability Engineer. So the primary goal of SRE is to create highly reliable and scalable software system, right? So developers can develop things, but now if it has to be a reliable system and scalable, and this is a system that should run with minimum failure for a long duration in different environment conditions, right? No system runs for all this. There will be some issues, but those failures, how do we minimize them? and how we can make sure that it keeps running for a very long duration, right? So if you see like services like Gmail, Google, they have been like very strong in SRE. They have been running like, you know, without any failure for a much longer period of time. So behind the scene, there are principles of SRE that takes place. So some people, they view SRE as an implementation of DevOps culture. So in DevOps, we have development, QA, operations, it's a mix of these three, and that's how DevOps was formed. So in DevOps, there are some companies who have separate DevOps team, similarly some companies who have separate SRE teams, whereas nowadays, SRE and DevOps are part of developer. So each developer has to know these SRE capabilities, each developer has to know that DevOps culture, right? That way we do, it's not a separate department. So SREs, they share the ownership of the system with developers. So that is what now the trend is that they sit along with the developers rather than focus on specific things. They work with developers and try to share that, right? And SREs, they use the development tools which are similar to the ones used by developers. So like they use similar IDs, similar CI CD patterns, similar agile processes. So that way we increase the reliability of the site of our servers but we use similar tools for that and sres accept the fact that failure can happen so as a sre we expect accept that there will be some failure but we have to prepare the system so that these failures can be handled right so if we prepare the system then failures can be gracefully handled and system will become more reliable and whenever there are any failures we try to quantify and we see what is the availability of a system because of these failures is it reduced and then we track these against our service level agreement right so based on that we can see our system is highly available 99.997 percent of the time what is the tp99 performance what are the like sla we are meeting or is there a breach in sla so those kind of things we try to provide once we measure it then only we can improve also, whenever there are any issues, so SREs perform root cause analysis. If we say what is the root cause of this issue, how we can resolve it, do the post-mortem of the issue, what are the different causes that, can, that are causing it, what preventive action we can take in future to so that these issues do not occur. Also, SREs, they have a concept of product ownership in the developers so that we can reduce the cost of failures. So in earlier time, ops was different and like, you know, developers were different, but nowadays developers are playing the role of SRE. So they know this product is owned by themselves. So they have to maintain it, they have to support it. So product ownership increases the, the quality of the product. 
And then from time to time, as I said, we try to automate non-productive tasks. If there is some kind of a deployment, some kind of a test that are running, we try to automate that so that we get higher efficiency from that. And another and important aspect here is that we, we want to measure everything. Like there is a latency, SLA, failure counts, right? So all these things we try to measure because after measuring only we can know this is our current level and then we set our higher goals to reach the higher levels. And last but not the least that uh, I mean we were SREs, they work with a mindset that any system operation can be a failure. So we need to be prepared to handle those failures. So we handle it with a positive attitude. We handle it with a way that it takes a minimum impact from that failure. All right, that is all from uh, us on site reliability engineering. If you have further questions or any comments, do post in the channel. We'll be happy to answer them and do watch other videos on system design and software architecture. There's a good playlist on that and make best use of this time. Thank you and have a great day. And do not forget to subscribe so that you can keep getting updates if there are new videos.